This is the lead arm band pull drill. The purpose of this drill is to help you understand how to rotate your upper body through impact and to then see how that rotation directly benefits your hand path. What you're going to do is you're going to take a functional movement tubing of mid tension. You're going to go about hip height whether you have something to attach it to. If you don't have something to attach it to, your friend needs to hold it at hip height. Ideally, you would have something to tie it off to. You simply loop the band through one another, make sure it's nice and tight. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk out. You walk out as far as you can until that band wants to pull you back in this direction. One of the keys to pay attention to is because the band is trying to pull you, Instinctively, you'll widen your stance. So make sure that you're still taking your normal six iron setup, your abs are on, and then you allow the band to just pull you back to that kind of left arm parallel to the ground position. And as we know, the most important thing isn't to pull the club or rotate the body, it's to create the proper sequence and understand how to create power from the ground up. So this drill forces you to first shift and rotate your lower body open, which then encourages your upper body to open. And then from this position, you can't pull with your left hand, you can only rotate. And what you see is my head is looking down the fairway. One of the biggest inhibitors of proper upper body rotation is maybe the worst advice you've ever had in your life, which is keep your eye on the ball. Because if you see, when I rotate my lower body, then try and rotate my upper body, if I keep my eye on the ball, the only way I can get my hand to move through is if I move my hand and my hand path goes out to the right. So this drill teaches you to rotate your lower body, to push in the ground, to feel like your upper body rotates, as does your head. What you're going to do is you're going to do this three times, paying attention to the amount of flexion or forward bend you're going into. You don't want to be doing this drill with excessive forward bend or too much side bend. You really want to pay attention to those things. So again, six iron posture, feel like the lower body opens, upper body opens, head rotates open, and you're going to feel this position, and then you would stand up. And that's the move through the ball that we're looking for. You would, you would do that three times, you would get your six iron, you would hit one ball at 30%, feeling that same motion. Imagine you had just your left hand on the club and you rotated doing the same thing we were just doing, turning and rotating through. Your, your hand path is going to improve. Your upper body rotation is going to improve.